good morning everyone what is up it is monday morning i am pretty tired <laughs> i'm going on my third week in a row of working i haven't had a full day off um in two weeks now so i'm really tired but we're gonna push through this week and then i get saturday off and then i go switch to nights on sunday night so one day off in three weeks that's insane good morning and if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe join our herd we're happy and a great time we'd love to have you i have clinic all day thank gosh i don't want to be on the floor i need a break from labor and delivery so I have clinic today sorry i just sneezed a bunch clinic today float tomorrow and wednesday clinic on thursday and then float friday let's hope for a good week i'm hoping the weather's beautiful so i can go on a nice walk later today let's go I've been trying to exercise at the gym a little bit more vigorously than normal. Initially, when I started residency, I didn't have a gym membership. I was trying to do yoga and go on walks, and I, I kept up with it for a while, but then I realized that I do need a gym membership. I need to be able to go to the gym and lift weights. That's just a personal preference, and I still do yoga about maybe one day a week if my body is screaming at me and is like, please stretch. I listen to my body and I'll do yoga that day. If it's a beautiful day and I have time to go walk outside, I'll do that as well. Since getting that gym membership, I have just been maintaining my body composition, just doing workouts to maintain the muscle mass that I have, to counterbalance the caloric intake that I have per day. Now I feel a little bit more inspired to work harder at the gym and to actually build a better physique. So I did that and I came home and I FaceTimed my parents and painted my nails. This is like a new... It looks so crooked when your fingers are like that. Clinic was pretty wild today. <laughs> the morning I didn't have a lot of patients. Like I had a full schedule, but I had a few no-shows and then they added one on, so it was fine and manageable. The afternoon, <laughs> I had seven patients, which doesn't sound like a lot. To get all of those done and then doing the notes and the orders and labs, it is was like a whole thing. And obviously I like to try and spend time with patients and not get them in and rush them out really quick. And so I feel like I was also a therapist a little bit today for patients and I let them talk and just reading their body language. And um, I do try to prod and especially in our postpartum um, gals that postpartum depression is a huge thing. And I want to make sure that I'm prodding and trying to elicit the, like I'm trying to elicit the appropriate response from them and an honest response. and just checking in like hey emotionally how are you feeling how do you feel like you have support at home whatever it is and so i try to get them to talk about it and if they start getting tearful when i ask them that i will explore that and i give them the time and when you do that they they are honest and they will unfold a lot and you get to bond with your patient in that time yeah that feels good and i know that they appreciate it in some way yeah I'm tired. This Friday, I'm gonna be so freaking tired after working this many days in a row. Anyways, I'm gonna go to bed because I'm exhausted. Quick break from today's video to talk about our sponsor, which is AG1, which is something that I've actually been drinking over the last few years, but intermittently, but now it's official. It's here to stay. It's in my routine and I love it. If you didn't know, AG1 is a foundational nutrition supplement that supports whole body health. It's stored in the fridge. It's recommended that you drink it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. I also kind of drink it with my coffee. It tastes so good. It has a subtle fruity flavor. There's no added sugars, no artificial sweeteners, but it has extracts from pineapple core and also vanilla bean. AG1 delivers high quality vitamins and nutrients from whole foods along with pre and probiotics that diversify your gut microbiome. After I started incorporating AG1 into my routine on a consistent basis, I honestly have noticed more mental clarity and I have sustained energy throughout the day, whereas I would drink my coffee and crash and I would need a lot of coffee throughout the day. I'm down to like one, maybe two coffees per day, which is 
a big change. It really does help with sustaining energy and that is super important to me considering how much I work. I also add the vitamin D3 and K2 drops to it, which also helps support your immune system, um, which we also need obviously because I'm working in the hospital with all these germs. Head to my link in the description box below to get a free one year supply of the AG vitamin D3 plus K2. Plus you can get five of these travel packs for free with your first purchase of AG1. You won't regret it. Check it out. I also have a QR code here. Let's get back into the vlog. I went on such a sweet walk after work. It was gorgeous out. There was not a single cloud in the sky. The sun was shining. It was like 70 degrees. I watched someone get proposed to uh, during golden hour. It was so pretty and cute. Um, I'm home and I eat dinner and I'm just kind of prepping for tomorrow. It takes me about 10 minutes in the morning to get up and get out of the house. And I prefer it that way when it's an early morning. If I know I'm gonna to go to work a little bit later, I like to give myself more time and have a relaxed morning to myself and enjoy it. But when I have to get to the hospital at 6 a.m., I, I, I wanna sleep as long as I can. So I give myself 10 minutes to get, get up, get ready, and get out of the house. And that's because I do all of the prep before. So this is kind of what I do to set up for the next day. It's pretty simple and straightforward, but let me show you. Because I've been drinking Athletic Greens, I prep my little water cup the night prior and then I'll put the greens in in the morning as you have seen. And then I stick that in the fridge so it's ready to go. The next thing I do is make sure that I have a coffee cup all set up here like this. So it's fairly quick, that's what I want. And then I make sure that this is full so I'm not struggling in the morning to fill it up. I have my backpack here and ready to go. I just need to put my laptop in it. My shoes are over there at the front door. And then lastly, I have my scrub set up here, underwear, socks, my sports bra, my scrunchie. So it's kind of just all ready to go for tomorrow when I get up. But that is it, pretty simple and straightforward. I'm gonna relax for a little bit before I have to get ready for bed. Um, I gotta get in bed in the next 45 minutes or so. So I just wanna wind down. It is almost hump day, which means it is almost Friday, which means I can finally have a single day off. I really wish that I could tell you about the day that I've had, but I honestly cannot. It has been, I've been, it's been very stressful, you guys. Ooh, you guys, I just like a lot. Um, pretty stressed about some things, but you know, this week is gonna be great. My partner's coming into town and I cannot wait. I need to see him um, and just like be comforted because I'm stressed. <laughs> it's eight o'clock and I'm in clinic tomorrow. We will chat tomorrow. I just have to take the rest of the night to myself and I have clinic tomorrow and then I am doing um, a presentation, morbidity and mortality um, presentation. It's like a case presentation about a patient um, and I'll be doing that to our department and then, um, then it's Friday and I can finally have a day off. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm feeling fine today. I'm sorry for last night. I... There's just stuff that's going on. Anyways, I, I do apologize for not telling you anything until now about today, but I'm kind of angry at myself because I am very tired. I am really, I'm exhausted and I can't wait for tomorrow to be over because I can finally have a day off. I am exhausted, um, but I also would really like to exercise because I would like to and it's important to me to exercise but then I am also very lazy right now because I'm so tired and I don't want to get ready and go to the gym I know it's <laughs> like I know I should go to the gym because it's good for me but also what's best for me right now is probably to just go to sleep but I won't accept that um I would like to exercise because I also just ate a bunch of pretzels today I ate like a whole bag of pretzels and I I've got like a little disordered eating pattern in my brain a little bit sometimes, so I am pretty mad at myself for eating that much. I'm ashamed to say that, but that's just how I'm feeling right now, and so I need to do that or else my little angry thoughts are going to consume me for the evening and I'm not going to have a good evening. So it is almost 8 o'clock. I just need to get it over with so I can come home and go to sleep. So that's just been decided in this very moment. I'm going to the gym.
I am glad that I ended up going to the gym. I had a sweet little upper body workout and half of my gym is actually outside. So they have this tent covering and it was raining. Pretty chilly little workout, but I'm glad that I went. The next day I was float for the entire day. And then I actually did an interview with a medical student that was rotating with us. She's a third year. And I asked her about her experience on our floor and how was it rotating with us. So stay tuned for that video. Um, and then I edited a bunch after and I waited for Patrick to come. I just tracked Patrick's location since he's obviously on his way and he was just at Whole Foods and I wish I showed you because now he's left Whole Foods and he's on his way. I bet you everything that he was at Whole Foods because he got me flowers. I told him one time that I really love flowers and I love receiving flowers and I think it's the sweetest thing ever and he was like I will always get you flowers and he always does. I don't know if you've noticed in the vlogs I have a bouquet of flowers on my kitchen table every time and they're often different and it's because every time we see each other he buys me flowers and I think it's so sweet and I'm really excited to see what flowers he got this time I'm excited <laughs> I told you you'd get me flowers <laughs> I know it's so sweet it's so sweet thank you so sweet huh these are much bigger, but then I condensed them down to this little thing because I knew he'd be bringing more. <laughs> oh, and I got shrimp. I'll show you in the morning. Oh, you could see one there. My co-resident, Jasmine, gave me those little shrimpy guys. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, and all my- Oh, is this from last time? Yeah. Oh, they're still going I know. Nice. Oh, they are so pretty. These are, this is such a pretty bouquet of flowers. Okay. Oh my. They're so pretty. I love them. Thank I'm going to make this a whole different video, but this was my day off after all those days working. And it was so lovely to just spend it with Patrick. Um, and I'm going on nights for the next four weeks. So that is it for this video. And until next time, take care of yourselves. Be kind to yourselves. Continue to work hard and all the good stuff. Okay, bye.